Let's start on our backs. Draw in a few welcoming breaths. Full breath in through the nose. And then open the mouth, let the breath go. And take two more breaths like that. At the end of that last exhalation, bend the knees, place the feet on the mat, and then heel toe the feet out wide onto the edges of the mat. Drop your knees to the left, and then bring the right arm up and overhead, bending the elbow as much as it takes, the shoulder as much as it takes to allow the arm to rest easily on the floor and take some full smooth breaths here. As you inhale, draw breath into your belly and draw breath all the way up in towards your chest. And then as you exhale, empty the chest and then empty the belly. Begin now to attune your awareness to the breath and observe the journey of the breath from the moment the inhale initiates to that turn midway when the end of the inhalation becomes the bit, the beginning of the exhalation and observe the breath all the way until the very last moments of the exhale. Take another full breath here, into the belly, into the chest. And then empty the chest, empty the belly. Bring the knees through center, drop them now to the right. Bring the left arm up and overhead and lower the right arm. Full smooth breaths, inhale from bottom to top, and exhale from top to bottom. Can you exaggerate your breath a little bit more each time? The eyes could be open, or if it feels comfortable and natural, you could gently close the eyes. Take one more full breath in. And full breath out. the end of that exhalation, bring the knees to center and then draw your knees in towards your chest. Hold the knees in gently, maybe giving yourself a little rock from side to side. And now let's combine the shape with breath. As you inhale, fill the belly, fill your low back. 
And then as you exhale, draw the knees in towards your chest. Inhale, fill the belly, fill your chest. And then exhale through the nose or the mouth as you draw the knees in a little bit closer. Inhale again, puff the belly up towards the thighs, fill the chest all the way up towards the throat. And then exhale, empty the breath, draw the knees in. Keep the right knee in towards your chest, hug it in, and then extend the left leg long. Make a few circles with the ankle and the foot in one direction. Change the direction of your circles. Inhale, reach the left heel away from you. And then exhale, change sides. Draw the left knee in as you extend the right leg out. And then make some ankle circles with the right foot and ankle, one direction. Change directions. Pause. Inhale, reach the right heel away from you. And then exhale, draw the right knee in to meet the left knee. <sighs> Empty the breath out. And then drop both knees over to the left. Open the right arm out to the other side. And if the right shoulder and arm are floating up away from the floor, please consider grabbing your blanket and supporting your knees, maybe between the knees or underneath the knees. Create a little bit more height. Bring the floor up to meet the legs so that the right arm can relax a little bit more fully. Take some full smooth breaths here in your twist. Even though the belly is a little bit crimped up, continue to bring the, the breath fully into the belly, into the chest, using the shape to create a little bit of an abdominal massage for the innards, for the organs. And in a couple moments, we are going to experiment with a breath hold. There'll be a, a couple breath holds in today's practice. Um, so if holding your breath starts to feel panicky at all, uncomfortable, please breathe, breathe when and how you need to. Take a full breath in, fill your belly, fill your chest. And then once you're all the way full, gently hold the breath in. Keep the breath in, but relax your face, relax your shoulders. Open your mouth and release the breath. <sighs> Take a full breath here. And then exhale, bring the knees through center and change sides. Now drop the knees over to the right. Take the left arm out to the other side and then observe how the left shoulder is oriented. If it's rising up away from the floor, then consider propping the knees.
Take a few full, smooth breaths here. Draw breath into the front, back, and side seams of the torso. Exaggerate each inhalation and exaggerate each exhalation. Take your fullest breath in. and then gently hold the breath in. Keep the breath in, relax your jaw, relax your neck. Open the mouth, free the breath. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale, bring the knees to center. And if you're using a prop, remove it, get it out of your way, and then roll over onto your side, make your way onto hands and knees. Slide the blanket onto your knees if you'd like. And then once you arrive in a tabletop position with the hands roughly under the shoulders, the knees more or less under the hips, walk your hands around in all directions. So walk the fingers inward, walk them forward, outward, turn the hands around. Just paw into the mat. <laughs> Lady Bird's really getting into her morning grooming ritual <laughs> with us. <laughs> and make your way into a tabletop position, hands and knees. And now as you inhale, lift the crown of your head, lift your tailbone up. Exhale, press into the hands, curl and round the spine in. Inhale, arch and lift. Exhale, round and dome, empty the breath completely. Keep going, take a few more cycles. Link the pace of the movement to the pace of your breath right now. Take one more cycle of cat-cow. Make your way to a neutral spine. Reach the crown of your head in one direction, the tailbone in the opposite direction. And then tuck your toes under, press into your hands, lift the knees, lift your hips, reach the hips up and back, and make your way into downward facing dog pose. And then as soon as you arrive in your down dog, start to explore the shape. Make yourself more comfortable in it by pawing into the hands, pedaling out into the feet. 
You can experiment with taking the hands wider or closer together. And the same goes with the feet. And you've experimented with a couple, with some possibilities for the shape. Make your way into a downward facing dog. That feels steady. Press down actively into the hands. Reach the sitting bones back. Knees can be bent as much or as little as you like. Connect with the breath. Now as you inhale, press down even more firmly into the mat so that you slide the shoulder blades up towards your shoulder, towards your earlobes. And then as you exhale, glide the shoulder blades down towards your hips. Inhale, press down super firmly, push the floor away, slide the shoulder blades up towards your earlobes. Exhale, slide the shoulder blades down the back ribs towards the hips. One more time, inhale, press down, slide the shoulders up. Exhale, slide them down. With your next in-breath, Lower the knees onto the mat. As you exhale, press your hips back towards your heels into child's pose. Inhale, shift forward to tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, down dog. Inhale, knees down, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale forward. Exhale, down dog. Keep going. Take a few more cycles of the sequence of movement. Link the pace of the movement to the pace of your breath. And also listen to your body. So if your body says that, hey, it'd be pretty great to spend a few extra breaths in one of these shapes, then please honor that request. In this practice, we are not only practicing shapes and strengthening and stretching, but we are also practicing staying with ourselves. We are practicing embodying our strength, growing our awareness and deepening our presence by remaining awake to both the body and the breath. As we're more awake to the body and the breath, the more clearly we can become aware of the messages that our body is communicating to us. Please take your time and let's meet in a downward facing dog.
pause in your downward facing dog, press the hands into the mat, reach the sitting bones back, and now keep the hands stuck in place where they are, like your mat is made of fly paper. And now energetically slide the hands towards each other, like you're trying to scoot the hands to meet at the midpoint of the mat. Relax your jaw, take some full smooth breaths. Inhale, energetically draw the hands towards each other. One more breath. And then exhale, release that effort. Keep the hands stuck where they are, and now energetically slide the hands away from each other. One more in-breath here, pull the hands apart. And then exhale, soften. Step the feet onto the edges of your mat, bend the knees, walk the hands in towards your feet, and drape the upper body over your legs. You can circle out the wrists here, maybe flick the fingers out. And then once you've tended to the wrists, focus on surrendering the weight of the upper body. Allow your spine, shoulders, arms, hands, head, everything to pour heavily out from your pelvis as though your pelvis is a, what, a jug of warm maple syrup, pouring the syrup of your upper body down onto the pancakes or the waffles, your choice of your mat. Keep the upper body heavy and syrupy. And then gently curl the tailbone under and slowly roll up the spine towards standing. Take your time. Observe the sensations in your body as they arise. Once your head is up, open your eyes and really see, look at what is in front of you. And then turn the head, look around your room, wherever you're, whatever environment you're in. Just turn the head and allow your gaze to land on the objects in your environment. Orient to your space orient to the moment, and now as you inhale, lift the shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhale, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Inhale, slide the shoulders up towards the earlobes. And exhale, roll them back and down. One more shoulder roll with breath. Now put a little bend into the knees and make a couple rotations with the arms back. Big shoulder circles back. Observe any crispy, crispy crunchy bits. And then go the other direction. Big arm circles forward. Release the arms and then bring your hands to prayer position in front of you. And now roll the hands forward, 
Bring the hands in towards you. Make some circles in the hands and the wrists. And then go the other direction, wrist and elbow circles. Bring your hands now to your hips. Make a couple hip rotations. These could be these could be quite small, like you're tracing small circles on the floor with the tailbone, or you could make the circles large. Circles, maybe ovals. And then change directions, go the other way. Pause at center. Release your arms down by your sides. And now as you inhale, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, reach the fingertips up. At the fullest point of your breath, gently hold the breath in, keep reaching, and then lean gently towards your right. Keep reaching through the top fingertips, maybe even slightly curl the heart up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, stand up, lower the arm. <sighs> Inhale, sweep the right arm up, reach it up. Once the breath is fully in, gently hold it in, reach up, and then gently lean over towards the left. Keep reaching through the right fingertips. Slightly curl the heart up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rise, release the arm. <sighs> Left side again. Inhale, reach up. Hold. Lean to the right. Exhale, release, lower the arm. Right side, inhale the arm up. Gently hold the breath in, lean to the left. Exhale, come up. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs any amount, bending the knees as much as you'd like. Inhale, bring the hands to the shins, reach the crown of your head forward. Exhale, fold inward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Lift the chest, lengthen the spine, take your fullest breath in. Open the mouth, fold forward, exhale. Look forward, walk your hands forward. Lengthen out towards a high plank pose. So place your hands under your shoulders, more or less. Walk the feet in towards hip distance. Once you've landed in your high plank pose, keep the hands and the feet stuck in place on that flypaper where they are, and then energetically slide the hands back towards the feet and the feet forward towards your hands. Find your breath. Inhale, hands to feet, feet to hands. And then exhale, soften that effort. Place the knees down, 
child's pose. Relax your face. Relax your neck. Rock forward towards tabletop, hands and knees, and then tuck the toes back to a plank pose. So we're gonna try on a couple different um, orientations for the hands. All of these can be done with the knees up or the knees down on the mat. So start with the hands under the shoulders. Do a push up, which just means bend the elbows any amount, and then come back up. Take the hands wider apart, maybe onto the edges of your mat, maybe all the way off of the mat. And then do a yoga push up, which is just a push up with breath. Bend the elbows any amount. Could be a millimeter, could be all the way down, completely up to you. Once you're back up, walk the hands forward. So forward of the shoulders, any amount. Do a push up, bend the elbows, any amount. Come back up. Bring the hands under the shoulders and then take the hands diagonal from each other. So one forward, one back, really just experiment around and then do a push up ish. Come up, do the diagonal on the other side. Bend the elbows, come up, place the hands under the shoulders, and then with the knees up or down, slowly lower all the way onto your belly with control. Untuck the toes. Reach the legs out long behind you. Inhale, reach the breastbone forward and up into cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Do that a few more times. Now you get to decide where and how you place the hands. and how high or how low you bring the spine and the upper body. How these movements look is entirely up to you. Focus on the quality of sensation and let that guide what happens next what experiment you try out next. The only non-negotiable is the breath. Come up and down two more times. Child's pose. And then downward facing dog. So Zoe, <laughs> what's up? What's up with those push-ups? Um, so we, most of us have pretty familiar and preferred pathways for movement. We are doing some experimenting and exploring today to give our body a more diverse education um, to explore possibilities and make ourselves strong, make our musculature and our bodies intelligent in, um, in a really diverse variety of ways. Inhale, lift the heels, look forward. And then exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. 
exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms wide, press into the feet, stand all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Press your right foot down, step the left foot back. Find a long runner's lunge and look down and see your feet. And arrange the feet so they're at roughly hip distance apart. So if they are quite close together, widen the stance a little bit. Give yourself a more generous platform. Ease the hips down a little bit, lift the hips up a little bit. Just testing the waters. And then on an in-breath, sweep the arms wide, come all the way up into a crescent lunge, and then press into the front foot, straighten the front knee. So for the next little chunk of time, um, you could choose to keep the arms up if you would like more activation in the shoulders. Uh, uh, be informed <laughs> that we will be doing more push-ups later. So gauge, um, gauge what kind of experience you want for the shoulders. And with that in mind, either keep the arms reaching up or you could choose to have the hands in prayer position, maybe on the hips. And now with an in-breath, Bend into the front knee. As you exhale, start to straighten the front knee. Pivot on the feet so that the toes face towards the side of your mat. And then inhale, bend the right knee again. Lunge towards the side. Exhale, come through center. And then pivot on the feet so that you're in a crescent lunge on the second side. And inhale, bend that front knee. Exhale, straighten it, pivot on the feet, turn the toes in the same direction. And then inhale, bend the left knee, side lunge. Exhale, transition, pivot towards the right. So that's the front of the mat. Inhale, bend the front knee. Exhale, swivel, pivot, and then inhale, side lunge, bend the right knee. Keep going from side to side. So it's an inhale to bend the knee into whichever lunge you're doing, and an exhale into the transition. Once you start to get into a groove with the coordination of the movements, make the quality of your breath the priority. Make each breath full, smooth, and even.
Go side to side one more time. And let's meet each other in a crescent lunge facing the top of your mat. So the, um, the what has historically, for most of practice today, been the reference point for forward of the mat, top of the mat, facing forward. Inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, take the hands down to the mat. Step to high plank. Once you are in your high plank pose, it's push up, it's a push up playtime. Eh, play-ish, um, variety hour maybe. So knees can be up, knees can be down. Please guide yourself now as to where and how you place the hands. Just look for variety, doesn't matter how close together, how far away, keep yourself safe, listen to your body, bend the elbows any amount, come back up, move with a pace that suits you, rest when you need to. So you've got wide, narrow, diagonal angles, all kinds of different possibilities. Another reason for going off the map and coloring outside the lines is that oftentimes when we are trying something new, we pay more attention. And so by doing things that are unfamiliar, we're more present with them. Do one more push-up of your choice or keep resting. And then hands under your shoulders, lower all the way down. Inhale to cobra, reach the breastbone forward, lift it up. Exhale, lower down. Child's pose. In child's pose, the knees could be close together. They could be wide apart. Your hands could be in front of you. They could be back behind you, maybe even holding onto the soles of the feet or the, air or the heels. Take full, smooth breaths, like you could coat your heartbeat with breath. Take one more full breath in. And then exhale, walk your hands in. Bring yourself up. And then swing your legs out so they are in front of you. Make your way into a cross-legged position. And you could start by sitting straight on the mat. Notice how that feels in the low back. Bring your blanket in, slide it under the sitting bones, 
maybe as it is, or maybe fold it up and notice if that's more or less comfortable and then make the choice that's more comfortable. Inhale, open the arms out to the side. Exhale, draw the left arm across the body and then snug it in with the right arm, maybe under the elbow or above the elbow. And then slide the left shoulder blade down. Turn the head to look towards the right. And then drop your chin down towards the right collarbone. Inhale here. Exhale, open the arms out to the sides. Turn the palms to face up. Inhale, lift your collarbones, lift your breastbone up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, fold forward any amount. Take full, smooth breaths. If you find any intensity of sensation, focus your breath in towards that location of sensation. Inhale fully. And then open your mouth, release the breath. Walk your hands in, bring your upper body upright. And then change the crossing of the legs, other shin in front. Inhale, open the arms out wide. And then exhale, bring the right arm across the body and snug it in with the left arm. Slide the right shoulder blade down. And then look to the left. Drop your chin towards the left collarbone. Inhale. Exhale, unweave the arms, open them out. Turn your palms to face up. Inhale, lift the breastbone towards the sky. And then exhale, fold forward as much as you'd like. If you notice the breaths becoming more shallow, exaggerate them, deepen the breaths, and focus the breath wherever you're finding sensation. If you're finding sensation or intensity in the hip sockets, imagine you have little micro-targeted lungs in the hip sockets and breathe the breath right into those spaces.
Take a full breath in. Open the mouth, full breath out. Bring yourself upright. Unwind the legs, give them a little shake out. If you're on a blanket, slide it out from underneath of you. Bend the knees. Press the feet down into the floor, reach your arms forward, and then roll all the way down onto your back. Keep pressing the feet down, smashing them down into the mat as you go all the way down. Even when they want to fly up off of the earth, press them down. And then once the shoulders are down, soften. Place your feet underneath your knees. Press down into the feet, lift your hips up. Reach the kneecaps forward and reach your sitting bones towards the backs of your knees. Inhale here. And exhale, place the spine all the way back down, place the hips down. Hug the knees in towards your chest. Drop the knees to your left, open the right arm out to the side. Inhale fully. Gently hold the breath in. Maybe you can sneak a little more breath in and then hold it. Open the mouth, exhale as you change sides. <sighs> Drop the knees over to the right, left arm out to the other side. Take your fullest breath in all day. Seal it in. Keep the breath in, but relax the body around the breath. Sip a little more air in. Open the mouth, release the breath, bring the knees to center. <sighs> Hug the knees in towards your chest, empty the breath all the way out. Inhale here. And then exhale, release your arms, release your legs, lengthen them out on the mat and arrange yourself comfortably for your final relaxation. Feel free to incorporate your blanket in any way that would make you more comfortable. Maybe under the knees, under the head, or perhaps unfolded and on the body for warmth. Relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And allow your body to be heavy on the earth. In your body, 
what would it feel like to feel safe and cared for? in your body, what would it feel like to know that all of your friends and family, alive or not, are safe and cared for? In your body, what would it feel like to know that all beings everywhere are safe and cared for? Begin to take some fuller breaths. Begin to move the body. And draw your knees towards your chest, roll over onto your side. And then guide yourself up into a seated position. Once you're upright, Settle into the weight of your pelvis. Allow the pelvis to be heavy. And then glide your awareness up your spine, bringing in a sense of lightness along the spinal column into the crown of your head as though your head were a helium balloon attached to the string of your spine. Bring the hands together in front of your heart and rub the hands together. Place one hand on your heart, the other hand onto your belly. And send to yourself an offering of care. Thank you.